some shipping companies are now operating at a consistent loss. Asia to Europe rates dropped last month to $243 per container, an all-time low for shippers and not enough to cover the cost of fuel. Routes like Shanghai to Rotterdam have dropped nearly 50% since April, to a quarter of what is considered a break-even rate. The Shanghai Containerized Freight Index, a measurement of freight going to and from China, is now at an all-time low, 44% below its last big drop during the 2008 financial crisis. Overcapacity and shipper alliances have a lot to do with it. There are too many ships with too much space and not enough goods to transport. A lot of freight money comes from Chinese importers of iron ore and coal, but that demand has been declining recently as China has begun to rethink where it gets its energy. In addition, demand has slowed for Chinese manufactured exports in the sluggish economy. To make matters worse, the largest carriers are purposefully adding enormous capacity to drive up their market share and destroy spot prices so smaller carriers with less cash to blow will be forced to fold, essentially creating a global shipping oligopoly. Maersk, the largest shipping company in the world, currently controls 15.3% of the global container capacity. The big three carriers together, Maersk, MSC, and CMA, CGM, control 38%, up from 26% in 2005. Including Hapag Lloyd and Evergreen, the top five control 48% of the market, up from 37% in 2005, a trend that is unlikely to end soon. So, while mom-and-pop shipping shops continue to spring leaks, expect the largest container companies to start eating up market share and freight prices to rise as shipping behemoths capitalize on lack of competition.